Hello, and welcome to Mountwalk Ice Service Training Center here in Mountwalk, Wisconsin. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to show you the procedures for descaling and sanitizing a cooler modular ice machine. This descaling and sanitizing procedure will be the same for all current cooler modular models. It is very important to use only approved descaler and sanitizer. Manitowoc Cleaner Descaler is part number 9405463 and Manitowoc Sanitizer is part number 9405653. When performing this procedure, do not mix descaler and sanitizer together, since doing this will cancel each other out. Wear rubber gloves and safety glasses when handling ice machine descaler and sanitizer. Refer to the installation, operation and maintenance manual that comes with your ice machine. You can also download a copy from our website coolair.com. You are responsible for maintaining the ice machine in accordance with the installation, use and care manual, maintenance procedures are not covered under normal warranty and they should be performed at least every six months. If the ice machine requires more frequent descaling and sanitizing, consult a qualified service company to test the water quality and recommend appropriate water treatment. While you may do remedial cleanings more often, a deep cleaning should be performed every six months. This is the procedure we are showing you today. This involves removing all the food zone components for a thorough deep cleaning and sanitizing. Before you begin, you will need some supplies to help get the job done. You will need a bucket, the Manitowoc Ice Machine Cleaner and Manitowoc Ice Machine Sanitizer, a sponge, brushes, gloves, safety glasses, and a spray bottle. Before we clean the inside of the ice machine, Let's look at the outside. Clean the area around the ice machine as often as necessary to maintain cleanliness and efficient operation. Wipe surfaces with a damp cloth rinsed with water. The exterior panels have a clear coating that is stain resistant and easy to clean. Products containing abrasives will damage the coating and scratch the panels. Descaler is used to remove lime scale and mineral deposits. Sanitizer disinfects and removes algae and slime. Step one, remove the front door to access the evaporator compartment. Then set the toggle switch to the off position and let ice melt off the evaporator. Note, it is important to never use anything to force ice from the evaporator. Step two, remove all ice from the bin or dispenser. Step three, set the toggle switch to the clean position. Water will begin to flow through the water dump valve and down the drain. Wait until the water trough refills and then add the proper amount of ice machine cleaner. This amount can be found in the chart that's in the owner's manual you received with the purchase of your ice machine. Step four, Wait for the clean cycle to complete. This may take about 30 minutes. After, disconnect the power to the ice machine and the dispenser if used. Next, we'll remove some of the components for cleaning. Remove the water curtain. To remove, gently flex the curtain in the center and remove it from the right side and then slide the left pin out. Remove the water trough. To remove, depress tabs on the right and left sides of the water trough. When taking it out, allow the front of the water trough to drop as it's pulled forward to disengage the rear pins. Remove the ice thickness and harvest float switches. To remove, pull the float switch straight down to disengage. Lower the float switch until the wiring connector is visible. Disconnect the wire lead from the float switch. Remove the float switch from the ice machine. Remove the water distribution tube. 
Note, the distribution tube thumb screws are retained to prevent loss. Loosen the thumb screws, but do not pull the thumb screws out of the distribution tube. To remove, loosen the two outer screws and pull forward on the distribution tube to release from the slip joint. Disassemble distribution tube by loosening the two middle thumb screws and dividing the distribution tube into two pieces. Next, we're going to manually clean these components at the sink. Step six, mix solution for cleaner and lukewarm water. The amount of solution may vary based on the amount of mineral buildup in the machine. Use this ratio to ensure enough solution is mixed with enough water to thoroughly clean all parts of the machine. Step seven, use half of the cleaner water solution to clean all the removed components of the ice machine. The cleaner solution will begin to foam when it contacts lime scale and mineral deposits. Once the foaming stops, use a soft bristle nylon brush, sponge or cloth to clean parts. Do not use a wire brush or anything similar. Soak the parts for five minutes. While that soaks, use the other half of the solution to clean all food zone surfaces of the ice machine and bin. Use a nylon brush or cloth to thoroughly clean the evaporator plastic parts, top, bottom and sides, and bin bottom sides and top. Rinse all areas with clean water and rinse the soaking parts with clean water. The next step is the sanitation procedure. Step nine, mix a solution of sanitizer. Use the ratio on the screen to determine the correct amount of sanitizer to use. Step 10, use half of the sanitizer water solution to sanitize all removed components. Use a spray bottle to liberally apply the solution to all surfaces of the removed parts or soak the removed parts in the sanitizer water solution. Note, do not rinse parts after sanitizing. Step 11, use the other half of the sanitizer water solution to sanitize all food zone surfaces of the ice machine and bin. Use a spray bottle to liberally apply the solution. When sanitizing, pay specific attention to the evaporator plastic parts, the ice machine base, and the area above the water trough, and the bin sides and bottom. Reminder to not rinse the sanitized areas. Step 12, replace all the removed components. Step 13, wait for 20 minutes. Step 14, Reapply power to the ice machine and place the toggle switch in the clean position. Wait until the water trough refills and then add the proper amount of Manitowoc ice machine sanitizer to the water trough. Step 15. After about 24 minutes, the sanitize cycle will be complete. Move the toggle switch to the ice position. And there you have it. This completes the interior cleaning and sanitizing of cooler modular ice machines. You should be ready for another six months of efficient operation. Your ice machine is now ready for use. I hope to see you next time. For more videos, check out manitowocice.com service section. See you next time here from Manitowoc, Wisconsin.